Hi, hey everyone, Becky here. Welcome back to day three of the Modern Direct Seller Challenge. Today is everyone's most favorite day. We are talking about selling strategies without being salesy or spammy. I know there's always concern. You don't want to send the hey girl messages. You don't want to be perceived as being pushy. So we're going to talk about how you can authentically, genuinely build your business in a really, really great way. So before we get started, a couple of quick housekeeping reminders. Make sure to grab your workbook over at moderndirectseller.com slash challenge. Make sure that if you haven't already, join us as an all access pass holder. It's just $9 and you get invited to each of our coaching sessions. We have one happening tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. You can come, you can ask questions, you can get clarification. We will also have a live happening here in the group at 12.30 Pacific, 3.30 Eastern. So make sure to pop in for that if you can. And also invite your biz besties. Everything is more fun with friends. They can easily catch up on the last couple days of the challenge. If you've fallen behind, don't worry. You definitely can take some time today to catch up Stick with it. If you are caught up, congratulations. You've made it halfway through the challenge. We're on day three. We're giving away prizes. We are seeing the momentum in our business as we're approaching Q4. And I am so thrilled that you're here on this journey with us. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. We know that direct sellers kind of have a bad rap for being a little salesy, right? Like we've all been there. We've all gotten that message. We've all seen people in this industry maybe not do things the right way. In fact, I mean, I've been there too. I've done it myself. We learn, we do better. We learn the right way to approach our business. So if you're listening into this today and you're thinking, oh, I've done a couple of these things, that is okay. That is perfectly fine. You're here, you're learning. You're gonna pick up on some new sales strategies today that are going to help you close those sales in a really great way where you're not feeling gross or icky or not so good about it. So let's Let's go ahead and talk about when is the right time to be asking for a sale. So of course, if somebody expresses interest in your product, it is a great opportunity to go ahead and ask for that sale, right? If they're talking to you about it, if they're asking questions, that's a great time. If they've attended an event where they've learned a little bit more about it, maybe that's online in a virtual party type setting, or maybe that's in person at a vendor event, at a pop-up event, they're browsing your booth. That is a great time to go ahead and say, hey, are you ready to check out? Can I help you place that order, right? That's great customer service as well. Repeat customers, that's another great time to go ahead and ask for that sale. If you have a consumable product where you think they'd be due for a refill or more, or even if you have a complimentary product or a product that you feel like they're just really, really going to love, don't be shy about that. They've already shopped with you before. We want them to come back and make those repeat purchases. So don't be shy about that at all. That's a great time to ask for a sale. Also, when there's new releases, many companies have fall releases, whether they're big releases or many releases. My guess is that your company is offering some new product. When there's new product out, that is a great excuse to reach out, to check in, to see if you can serve your customer by helping them get that order in. Also, if they're engaging with you on social media, maybe they're leaving comments on your lives or they're interacting on your posts, go ahead and take that from a conversation happening on social media and move them into their inbox, right? Send them a DM, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them, and then just straight up ask, hey, can I help get that ordered for you? So a couple of tips when it comes to how to ask. First off, we never want to link drop. Don't link drop. What that means is that you're sharing something and you're including the link. It feels a little spammy, doesn't feel super authentic. So make sure that you're not posting a direct link on all of your posts or in a private message to someone. Ask 
would they like the link and then send them the link directly. Another thing that we want to make sure that we're doing is to keep it conversational. Your number one goal when talking to leads, potential customers, is to keep that back and forth conversation going. You never want to copy and paste a whole bunch of information, you really want to keep it conversational and ask questions, be curious, learn how you can best serve them. Make sure you're personalizing those messages using their name and not jumping straight into, oh, do you want to buy my thing? But actually having a conversation, ask how they're doing, get to know them a little bit. And then of course, you are going to want to ask when it's time for them to go ahead and make a purchase. Another great strategy is to create some urgency. How do you get them to purchase before a deadline? Let them know I'm putting in an order on Friday. Can I get that ordered for you? Or our party closes on Monday. I didn't want you to be left out. Creating urgency is a great way to get people to take action. We're all natural procrastinators. So giving some urgency is going to help move those sales forward and not just have an open shopping cart with a bunch of things in it, but not actually clicking that checkout button. Another great strategy is to follow up with a question, right? So when you're asking a question, that is going to prompt a response. Well, sometimes I think we just want to copy paste all the information and give it over to them. We want to make sure that it's conversational. We ask questions, we get response, we have that back and forth. Now, if you're not getting a lot of responses back and you're feeling like people are kind of ghosting you, a great strategy is to use the voice memo or even to send a little video if you so dare just to check in with someone. And you can say something really, really simple like, hey, I was thinking of you. I know life got busy. Just wanted to check back in and loop back to this message, right? On the receiving end, they're going to see that you sent them a voice message. They're going to want to push the play button because they're curious what you had to say. And they're also going to hear how authentic and genuine in your voice that you're being, and so they're going to want to respond back. So make sure you're leveraging the follow-up using a voice message or a video. Last thing is you want to make it easy, right? How do your customers like to shop? Do they like to just Venmo you and you place the order on their behalf? Do they like to do a porch pickup where you can add it to your next bulk order? Do they want you to fill the shopping cart and send them a link directly to the cart to check out? Think about how you can make it easier for them as a shopper. I know I'm a lazy shopper over here. I would love somebody to do all the work for me and so I can just click one button, pay, and be done. So think about how you can better serve your customers by making their shopping experience easier, seamless, and more fun for them as well. So let's get into what to actually say. I know finding the right words can be really, really challenging. So we've included a couple of key questions that you can use. Of course, personalize this, put it in your own voice. But as a starting point, you can say something like, hey, I know you had your eye on this item. Can I get that ordered for you? It's as simple as that. Hey, I was thinking of you because your favorite product is in a new color. And I'm putting it in order on Friday. Do you want me to grab that for you? Or do you need the link to place your order, right? Sometimes they just need the shopping link to make it happen. You can also ask questions like, are you thinking about this item or are you thinking about that item? You also might want to just recognize that they're busy. Like, hey, I know you're busy. I'm crazy busy too. I didn't want you to miss out. Do you want me just to get that ordered for you? right? There you go. Um, last one, if there's any kind of sale or deadline, that urgency factor comes into play again. You can say, I didn't want you to miss out. This deal ends on this date. Can I help you get that ordered, right? Super simple questions. We're keeping them short. We're keeping it conversational. We're ending in a question, which is going to prompt a response. But you do have to ask, and none of these are spammy or icky. We're not sending a message from our best friend in fourth grade that we haven't talked to in 20 years. These are real, authentic conversations that are happening in your business. So with that said, I am so excited for you to take action on these strategies right away. Who do you need to follow up with? Who do you need to have a conversation with? This is your opportunity today to get it done. 
Make sure that you comment below, done, and post a picture if you'd like of your Q4 playbook. Show us that you're making it happen. And also just a friendly reminder that our doors are officially open, yay, for the Modern Direct Seller Academy. And I have to tell you guys, we brought all the bonuses. We have bonuses as an annual member. You get a free Modern Direct Seller box. We have a brand new toolkit that covers 365 days of social media content done for you. I mean, it's almost too good to be true. We might be a little crazy over here. So make sure you go take a peek at the Academy if you're not yet in there with us already. All access pass holders, I will see you this evening. And I look forward to seeing everyone live in the group later this afternoon. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.